Okay, guys, we're getting ready to go mow. Let's see what two inches of rain did to my garden. I haven't sprayed copper fungicide on this in a long time, so I'm thinking blight probably spread on these. Hopefully not. No, everything looks decent. Still, we are supposed to get six more inches of rain in the next week. You definitely don't want that much because now we're going to have splitting tomatoes. But look at these. This is just crazy. <laughs> That's our pumpkin patch. I'm guessing the pumpkins, I'll weed eat this down and the pumpkins will overtake the weeds, hopefully. I'll just have to really weed eat this down first because I didn't put black plastic down. Then I have white pumpkins over here too, guys, that are supposed to be going through this fence thing here, but it is what it is. Okay, we're going to get off the mowing now since today's, we might work tomorrow, but before we get this rain. All the lawn care guys are out today. Well, we're all trying to get done before the pop-up thunderstorms again. Not like they're doing much. They're just putting out a whole bunch of rain at once and nothing is able to soak in. By the way, good morning, boss. Oh, good morning. I'm Rachel. And I'm Carl. <laughs> and you're watching Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. And yes, we are going to get rain. Um, they're actually saying they changed it for almost six inches in the next seven days. So they're not sure. Yesterday afternoon, I think at our house, the farm, they were saying we were supposed to have an inch and a half in seven days. And I was like, oh, we're not going to get any rain. And all of a sudden, it, oh, mm -hmm. a little storm started building to the west of us and we ended up in one hour getting two and a half inches of rain yeah so you guys saw we did the one development and she did tell us that they had just had rain um but it was nothing it was just a real quick storm and then it dried up by the time we were leaving but by the time we got home another storm was on the horizon with this rain coming through i think it's going to be core tomorrow's a high of 78 79 so i think it's more of a prolonged heavy rainfall for the weekend so that's why they upped the rain all the way up to almost six inches of rain in seven days so. yeah but so i am trying to get coral and the kids up early tomorrow saturday to go blueberry picking um before the rain and i don't know the girls were giving me a harder time well only one of them actually <laughs> wait which one kayla no Paige? she yeah. doesn't want to get up and go blue well she kayla? said because she has to go to the post office and she only has a little bit of time to work on saturday mornings before she has to get oh to well tell her to work all day today yeah well i warned her so hopefully she does and if you guys don't know she's seven, 16 right she'll be 17 yeah she'll be september. 17 in september and she runs her own very successful dog leash making business yeah she so. makes um dog leashes dog collars all that stuff i think we have her mountain dog gear down in the bottom um and then if you want to see the blueberry picking you got to go over to happy's family farm yeah so. we're almost there we're at 578 subscribers on that one so, yeah, so we'll get we there really appreciate you guys yeah. i know we don't put as many videos up on there as we do here but um, i'm trying to do every other day on there we're getting um, there we'll get there yeah but we're going to get out and mow this one. This one is a weekly. It's been, you'll see, two weeks and I think a day. My thing doesn't work here. And yeah. the next one's been two weeks and a day, too. Mm -hmm. And then I think we're going to run into our other development and maybe hit that one really quick because it's probably really short. It's only been a week today. Yeah. So we'll see. They're weekly lawns. Yeah, but... they're weekly lawns. And since we're up here, we might as well knock them out, maybe. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll take you along. Okay. Okay.
guys, this one put on some growth. Oh my goodness, it's the sedge. Yeah, man, look at that sedge. You got like a forest of sedge there, man. See what happens when you don't put it. Well, sedge doesn't stop. You can't stop sedge with a pre-emerging, guys. It's um, a rhizome. It only stops seeds from pre-emerging. So we're gonna get it cut and we'll show you. The end. Remember that big massive azalea we moved, guys? Doing pretty good. Okay, we're done this one. And because we did such a good job moving the azalea, we have to landscape, give her a quote for landscaping around the deck with some flowers and plantings. Um, and then planting ferns all around that big giant rock there. So we'll give her a quote for that and hope we get that on the schedule in the next month. Okay, I finished that one. Rachel finished mowing this one and that one and one down the street. So we're halfway done this. To do all six of these, we can actually get them done. Especially because they haven't grown much. Go ahead and get everything we needed. And we're gonna go take a break and I'm not sure what we'll be able to get done because we are supposed to have rain. Okay, we're done all these. I didn't check the time. I think in under an hour, it's only one o'clock. Um, our next project we're doing, quick, easy one. Respading all these beds here. We already started pruning the front. And then we have to go, so look at that volunteer Bradford pear. I'm not cutting that down. But we have to come in here and cut all this back here. Cut that junk out, all that remulch in here um, for this project. Rachel's working on blowing everything off. We're gonna go home and take a break. It says rain by one o'clock, so we'll see. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, guys, number nine done for the day. Um, we have one more to do. That's three jobs. It's a mow, fungicide, and ironite. We're gonna go get that done and we'll be done for the day. Not too bad, and I think we'll be done by 5.30. Okay guys, I am not going to record this one. We are just going to get it done. This is the 10th one for the day, right? See, it's gotten a little bit better. 
greened up a little from that two inches of rain we got yesterday. It's not long at all. I have a feeling it's getting rained on. No, the rain went away. Really? The, yeah. The clouds above us, right? Yeah. There you go, guys. We'll finish this one. Rachel went. As you can see. You can't see because it's on. But she went that way with her stripes. I don't know how I'm fast. I'm, with my gimpy leg, I ended up spreading that stuff quick. Oh, you better turn off the truck. Oh, we have it yet. Oh, we're out of gas. Yeah. You should not run your tank down to the light. No, you should not. They and say it destroys your fuel filter. I'll knock on wood, but I've never had a problem with my fuel lines. Carl's and notorious. we have 105,000 miles. Yeah. Notorious for running low? Yeah. I'm not the best, um, honestly, on equipment and everything as far as, like, like not beating it up. Maintenance, like, you mean? Like well, oh, if we want to talk about maintenance. So, maintenance so me and Rachel were talking and earlier. And hard on equipment. And hard on equipment. Me yeah. and Rachel were talking earlier about, you know how you know you have a good brand? When you don't maintain it at all, <laughs> and it still lasts three, four, five, six years. Yeah. Um, That's when you have a good brand, guys. Not not because of the name. I mean, I can, I my, like I said in previous videos, in the 12 years of me ever weed eating and doing any trimming, and wait, I, I would like to put in before he says this, we are not sponsored by any of our equipment. And so. I think a lot of the guys who give good reviews are sponsored. I mean, they might not get paid, but we had companies reach out to us to do things and we couldn't say anything bad about them. So yeah, they we just did not want to do it. They just don't like negative. No negative things. And that's with all the brands. Yeah. And that's probably why Steel and so, all of them don't reach out to us. Yeah, because, because we're, we're going to tell honest. you. Yeah. <laughs> when we tell you a battery operated piece of equipment is a piece of junk, trust me, it's a piece of junk and don't use it. I, it's We're brutally honest with our opinion. And again, it's our opinion, but we are mowing multiple lawns a day. So if you are a lawn care company, um, we are not just talking out, like we're not just pulling stuff out of the air and just saying, like throwing stuff out of our mouth. What we say if you listen and what we show is definitely how to run a business, but we don't necessarily say this is how you do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, we're not perfect. We're showing our life. Yeah. We're not perfect. Absolutely. We're not perfect. And, and we know that. And so wait, talking about equipment stuff. Yeah. If anybody's in the area and wants to come visit Happy's lawn care and landscaping, mm -hmm. I'll put a challenge up to you. Bring your battery-operated trimmer and go against me with my 111R. I Stacy's going to say that he's coming without it. No, I want car. somebody with a battery-operated trimmer that that swears by their battery-operated trimmer to meet up with me, and I guarantee you. I don't I will, think that there's anybody around yeah. here that boasts the battery. I, I'll guarantee you I will out-weed eat that hill, and it'll look like a freshly cut lawn versus some of the guys with the battery trimmers. They're just knocking stuff down. Get in there and make that thing look really good, and you'll go through about three, four batteries. I guarantee you I should have kept that that 135 uh, battery just just to do this just hill. To prove just to the, prove how because many... Because now it's just us saying it, and mm. I guess people aren't realizing that we're telling the truth. I mean, the battery weed eater really only lasted 18 minutes. Yeah. And the S battery and, is only four more minutes, and then they have the backpack battery, which I wasn't even pressed on how many minutes that lasted. No, so. right. I think it was like 45 minutes or something. The batter like to hold a battery on your back. But that's a challenge, guys. So, and then what there was the S if you had it on the lowest setting, I think it said like 40 something minutes and, but that's the lowest setting you guys. Yeah. And no, I, the lowest setting was still not. Oh yeah. Maybe it was 40 something minutes, yeah. but either or, I mean, if somebody thinks their battery equipment is better than a gas powered trimmer, we already know, I already did the figures for the cost. The cost is over a four year period. It is the exact same cost when I use gas versus battery for the cost to get built up in the battery and i know in four years that battery is not as good as it was 100 percent. but um yeah the equipment 
we're hard on equipment. Like even Carl's that, hard on. everybody says, oh, you got to check your oil every single day in your equipment. To me, if the oil is not laying on the ground and uh, you don't have a big puddle on the ground and you're not smoking your mower every day, smoke ain't coming out, there's no reason you have to check your oil and your equipment every day. I haven't checked that Ferris since I started this year. <laughs> I hate to say it, I can pull the dipstick out and I guarantee you it's to the top. Yeah. But um, that's how I judge equipment. If I can beat on equipment and minimally, minimally maintain it and it lasts me three years and it still starts up, that's a good piece of equipment. Yeah. And you also know your equipment to the point where if it's not right. Yeah. I mean, both times that something happened to the Z3, we knew right away. Something's not right. Yeah. Something wasn't right. And it was just minor stuff. But, you know, you you deal with it. But I don't know. We just... And to end the video, guys, not to say that I would never use battery equipment again because I use a battery hedge trimmer. Not to say I wouldn't use a battery trimmer again. They just need to improve the times. Yeah. It, it needs to be one battery lasts you a whole half a day. That way, when you plug it in, it's charging. And then the other battery lasts you the other half of the day weed eating. I mean, it's great for homeowners. Yeah, if homeowners are doing your own yard, then you're on your own time and you can deal with... I mean, it's it would absolutely, in the long run, be worth it for homeowners. Yeah. Because they know? can just plug it into the wall, take a break, and go right. do whatever. We can't. This I thought the truck would charge that rapid charger fast. Mm -hmm. We have a plug in here. No doesn't charge yeah. it fast so we would need four batteries to get through our schedule so again. and there are you know there are talks i don't know even if you guys that are all saying this that like oh you should try the 300 s, s or whatever there is actually a 500 coming out yeah. so it's an even bigger battery but it's not worth it when you add the cost up mm -hmm. you only use we only use 20 gallons a year no not even i use two gallon two to three gallons a month for seven months of the year on my trimmer that's 21 yeah. gallons of fuel on my trimmer plus mix ends up being 150 to 175 a year plus the trimmer i figured it out over four or five years when you have to replace a trimmer that's when you have to replace probably the battery unit mm -hmm. um i can guarantee you it ain't lasting that long but no i know we've been talking about this a lot though but it's just because it, I don't know if people think that we just make things up. Or we don't or, know what we're talking about. Yeah. It just we, Maybe because it's we're a husband wife team, people don't think we know what we're talking about. I don't know. I mean, we've been doing this for 11 years. So I know that the people that watch us religiously and that, you know, comment all the time, I do know that there are several of you that really. And they're the ones that came on, on and were honest. A lot of the guys saying they agree the battery power just mm -hmm. isn't there. And we had a lot of guys tell us that it, they went to it, it wasn't what they liked. And trust me, I wanted to do it so bad, but I want a battery operated truck. Yeah. But I know he did, but. Well, you know, I still will if it. Eventually, but not like we said, it's years yeah. out and. um and we'll wait and see. Yeah, we'll I mean, I know that there's probably guys that run off of all batteries. Yeah, but the battery power, the the the, the torque, and the it's the power isn't there. I trust me that that 135 will not compare it to the 111. Yeah, it's half the power when you're getting in this thick stuff with it. Yeah. Um, even picking up my 94R, big difference going to the 111. I picked it up right off the ground that's been sitting outside for. Since I bought the 111. Just... Yeah, so that's what made him talk about this is because he's like, you know, as much as I talked crap about that steel, when it was, it, it's, I guess because when it runs hot, when it's run, yeah. when it runs hot and it's the two cycle, I don't I guess, know. I don't know. It just has a hard time starting, but yeah. it's been sitting in the driveway <laughs> by the plants for oh about a month now. <laughs> Hasn't even been picked up once and started. Last night, I didn't feel like coming to the truck to get my other one. I picked it up, choked it, boom, started a one pull, started weed eating with it. And I was like, man, this thing is like a homeowner's brand compared to my 111 that I've been using. Now, see, to me, it would be heavy. It was, <laughs> it was, it wasn't, hit. it would get the grass and it would get caught. And I'm like, man, that 111 just would tear right through it. Yeah. Well, that's enough truck talk because it is I know. hot. It is hot. And, and we, we do appreciate every single one of you, all your comments, all your suggestions, all your likes, all that good stuff. So. And I'm not upset about the people who love their battery stuff and say stuff. It's just, it is what it is. No, again, it's your own. opinion. It's just, 
it is hard for us to read comments saying like, well, you don't know what you're doing. Something must be wrong with your battery. And this or you and must that. not be operating, right? Yeah. Like, I would, you know... I gotta say, I don't... Operator error. No. It's definitely not it's operator not. error. I can tell you that I'm one of the best weed eaters on YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna toot my own horn. Boop, boop. I can weed eat pretty good and fast. You are good at weed Yeah, eating. I am good at weed eating. But... So... Now so, Stacy's going to want to challenge, challenge me on that. Yeah, he's saying that he's coming over and he's going to do still your do it overgrown weed. <laughs> <You're> I guarantee <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. We do appreciate you guys. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try.